friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and I'm so excited for our video today. I've got my sushi bear here in the corner by our mamas. And we're excited to show you guys a quick little haul. I have exciting news. Your girl got a job at Goodwill. Yes. Go me. I wanted to talk to you all about my new job that I just got and how that's going to affect my Poshmark closet because I do thrift at Goodwill. And so, yeah, <laughs> I am so excited. I actually start tomorrow on Thursday the 5th. Everything I found for this haul, I literally only have like 10 items, but I found some really good stuff. And honestly, one of my best finds ever. I cannot believe I found this brand. And uh, yeah, um, this kind of happened out of the blue. I had applied to my Goodwill in my town and they denied me. And the very next day, me and my mom were like, mm, let's go to the other Goodwill. And we saw the now hiring side and we were talking and the lady was like, um, one of y'all need a job. And my mom was like, she does. And so she's like, apply, please. And my mom ended up not buying something at Goodwill and was like, I need to go back and get that or I'm going to regret it. So we went back and they were like, why didn't you apply? You should have applied since you came back. Like, you want me to bring the manager out here? And they did. They brought the manager out. I filled out my application while I was in there. They took me to the back and I left. She took, she called me like five minutes later and was like, um, do you want to do an interview today? So literally an hour after filling out my application, I had a job offer for Goodwill for a full time production team member. So I'm going to be pricing all of the hard goods that come into the location that I'm at. I am so excited. Um, kind of excited and kind of not because I haven't had like a real full-time job where I've worked for somebody since like 2019. And TBH, I am not super excited for that. <laughs> Especially when my last three days on Poshmark, I have made more than I would working 40 hours at Goodwill, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm using this to get ahead and hopefully help myself out in the long run. Yeah, I just cannot believe that I got a job at Goodwill when I was literally crying because they didn't want me. So I don't have a ton of items. This was not a huge thrift day for me. When I don't go to Family Thrift, I have to pay up on items. And by pay up, I mean like $10 or less. And it's kind of hard for me to buy a ton of things when I'm having to pay up. So, but I did find some really cool things and I'm excited to show you guys. Let's see. I found four things from the Goodwill and I found five items from the church thrift store. I might try on some of these pieces for you and some of them are mine that I am keeping because I just think they're too cute. But... Without further ado, let's get started. First off, it's just these black torrid skinny jeans. Was I've never found a pair of torrid um, pants before and they're in pretty good condition. So I was excited about that. Um, and they are an 18 regular. So yeah, just a good basic black pair of pants. I paid $7 for those, so definitely paid up a little bit more than I normally do, but jeans tend to do well in my closet. Next up, this is one of my favorite items I found that day. I paid $5 for this one, and it's a vintage platinum blouse. It has the coolest, like, mixed fabric on there with, like, this, like, colorful trim. And my favorite part are the interesting different buttons that it has. It's, it's just so cool. But I loved this piece. And I was definitely tempted to keep it for myself, but I am going to try and resell it. Next up is this really awesome Tune Views 
size small men's button down. I absolutely love this bright floral print that it had. It's just so fun and different and it looks to be brand new. I'm super, super stoked about this piece and my husband thought it was a woman's shirt and I was like, well, the fit of it looks to be a man. So I may, I don't think I'm wrong, but if I am like leave a comment down below that helped me out. Um, this one is something I'm debating keeping for me. I just think it is so precious. It's just olivaceous, size small. I love the flowiness of it. It's just so cute. And I love like the mixed boho print and these bright, beautiful colors. So precious. And then last but not least from um, the church thrift are these really cute tie-dye flowy pants and they have a slit in the front so they are super cute definitely keeping these for me and i only spent i think four dollars on those the lady charged me the tag had come off so she just charged me four dollars <laughs> all in all i spent 27 dollars at that thrift store and i definitely know i'm going to make all of my money back even with the pieces that I'm going to keep for myself. So I'm very excited about that. One reason I love doing this reselling thing is I thrift for myself all the time. And I was spending a ton of money monthly on things for me at the thrift store. And so now when I buy myself stuff, I also buy things to resell. And the pieces for resale normally end up covering the cost of what I buy. And it just makes me not feel near as bad when I'm thrifting for myself, if I'm being completely honest. Next up is what I found at the Goodwill. And I still cannot believe I found this brand. I It was the very first thing I touched at the Goodwill. And I was like, I gotta leave right now. But I didn't. I was just so shocked that I was like, is this real life? But anyways... I found a brand new pair of Versace jeans. I mean brand new. They still had these starched um, lines on them from being dry cleaned. They look brand new. There's a Versace there. I paid $8.99 for these. <laughs> $8.99 for these. They were made in Italy. And they're a size 30, 44. So they are pretty tall. But again, I still cannot believe that I found Versace like that. So awesome. Definitely one of my best finds ever. I mentioned this next piece in my Ship With Me video that I just posted. I had sold a Bowden piece and so I was super excited to find this Bowden jumpsuit. How precious is that with this keyhole like open back? It's just smocked and super lightweight. It is great for the summertime. I thought it was so precious to wear to the office or out on the town. I mean, it could be worn in so many ways. And Bowdoin still does really good for me. It is a size US 6. So very excited about that. Definitely keep an eye out for Bowdoin still. It still sells pretty well for me. So that makes me very excited. Next up is a Urban Outfitters Staring at Stars mini dress. Um, I paid $4.49 for it. It is a size medium. And the reason why I looked this up was because I noticed the embroidery on the tag. So I knew it had to be high end of some sort. I mean, not high end, but not basic either. So I definitely looked it up and I found out it was a anthro, not anthro, Urban Outfitters sub brand, so I definitely grabbed it. I only spent $4.49 on it, and I think blue tags were, yeah, blue tags were half off that day, so I only spent $2.29 on this piece, which is awesome, and I figured I would definitely try it out. It is like double lined here, super lightweight, and I love like this floral lace insert that they have. It's just super cute. Thought it'd be perfect for the summertime, and Last but not least from the haul for this day was a Anthropology sub brand. I don't know how to say it. I think it, it's Edme and Essel, 
pistols. I have no idea how to say the in, but there is the tag. It is a size six and it is a like velvet um, geometric print pencil skirt with little front pockets. It is in perfect condition. I loved the print. I loved the feel. I thought it would be perfect for an office job or something like that. It is just so nice and it does have the zipper on the back here and it is fully lined. So I absolutely love this piece and I cannot wait to get it listed. I hope to have all these pieces listed by the time I post this and um, I can be ready for Goodwill starting my new job as well as keeping up with my YouTube channel because I don't want to quit this. Like I said, I'm just using this job right now as a starting off point for me to help me get where I want to be. Sometimes you've got to do things in life that you don't necessarily want to do to have the life that you do want and that's where I'm at right now. So if you like today's haul, make sure you comment, subscribe, like. I appreciate all your guys' support and all of the comments and everything that I've gotten so far. If you want to know more about how my Goodwill job goes, please leave me questions in the comments. I would be glad to answer any of them. I think it's going to be really interesting seeing what it's like on the back end of Goodwill being that I go all the time. So yeah, I cannot believe that we found Versace today and I got a job at Goodwill on the same day. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.